everyone and welcome to another review from Colour with Claire. We're looking at the latest edition of the Colour in Heaven magazine today. This is the Fairies special just been released last week here in the UK. It has 40 ethereal fairy designs by Jana Prosperina. Not a name I've come across before. I do believe she has her own Etsy store as a lot of the illustrators featured in Colour in Heaven already do. Um, but she's definitely somebody that I'm going to look into because I really, really like her artwork and I'm sure you guys will too. So of the 40 designs that are in this Colouring Heaven edition, 10 of them are exclusive new designs that you won't have seen anywhere else before. So they've been commissioned specifically for the Colour in Heaven magazine. So this is the cover, as you can see, is a fairy special. So there's going to be loads of fairies, wings, um, you know, fantasy stuff like that. Then on the back, we've got the Discovery Club uh, promo there. If you don't know about the Discovery Club, I will leave a link in the description of my review of it and how you can join if you want to. So let's read a little bit about Jana. It says, Jana was based in Austria, in Europe. She lives in a nice little town close to beautiful forests, mountains, and the lakes of, hmm, Salzkammergut, maybe? Nature is her main source of inspiration for her art, and her favorite medium to work with is watercolor. It can behave unpredictably, but that's what she loves most about it. Over the years, she's created and sold artwork to people all over the world. Since September 2013, she's been a full-time fantasy artist. So that's a bit of background about our illustrator this month. And here we go. So beautiful, beautiful illustrations, as you can tell from the cover. Um, some of them are sort of zoomed out a little bit and more showing you more of the background and the fairy kind of takes, even though it's the central focus, it sort of takes on a, um, a smaller stature so you don't have to deal with a lot of skin and things like that and up close areas like this so you can see that this is quite close up we've got the fairy's face um and then her collarbone and shoulders kind of turns into this big wreath of flowers so there is a distinct difference between the level of detail in the illustrations throughout the book so each one is named the first one we just saw is black feather this is peonies and butterflies then we've got moon music. This is a really nice one. So she just sat on the edge of this crescent moon playing the flute. Loads of different styles of wings. So if you're into that kind of fantasy stuff, you'll adore this. Of course, we've got a big dragon. This is Dragon Path. We've got Forest Harp. Again, this is one of those colouring heavens, like many of them, where you really have to start to colour the picture before you discover a lot of the details so you know on first glance it looks like quite a simple illustration a lot of these do and then you get into colouring it and you actually start to notice little intricate things that have been hidden inside so this is called flirt as you can see she's got a big hand fan there again another close-up one for you to practice your skin we've got dark wings so this one you could give it it's got a nighttime view at the back there but you could give it a sort of gothic feel this one it seems as if she's holding a small bubbling cauldron we've got forest sisters so this is one of those it reminds me of like a soulmates thing like hannah coles and soulmates where the fairy has her own animal counterpart that is kind of that follows her around and, and they're sort of family in a way this is Green Man's Door. So we've all seen the Green Man um, in various colouring books and obviously in Legend as well. And this is really, really fun. It's obviously a door knocker set within the Green Man. And we've got these two fairies that seem to be playing knock door run or postman's knock, I think someone called it. I don't know what you call it in your country, but it's where you basically knock on someone's door and just leg it. Uh, this is Kiralee. So this is the one that I've coloured, as you can see, and you will have seen this already if you follow me on Instagram, you know, Facebook, everywhere like that. So I actually coloured this with Prismacolor pencils and a lot of paint. Now, the paints that I used are the KJ Design by Karen Paints, available on Etsy, which I have reviewed before. They're absolutely fantastic. Now, Karen's shop isn't currently open, but she is going to be opening very soon, even if it is for limited periods. So if you are after some of Karen's paints, I cannot praise them enough. They're absolutely wonderful to use. Very highly pigmented. As you can see on the on the uh, the wings here, the silver is just stunning. And then on the bottom bits as well, the cogs and the metallics, absolutely gorgeous. 
So if you are looking for some of those paints, just keep a watch out on Karen's Etsy and she'll be opening soon. So in the background, I actually used an alcohol marker. So that's why it's a really nice sort of um, blended blue. It's completely flat and it doesn't have any scratch marks, pencil marks because it's alcohol based. Uh, and then I actually used a little bit of a Faber-Castell pit pencil in white just to freehand in some clouds. Very, very quick and easy. You can see the alcohol marker bleed through the back. Obviously this time I did remember to put some sheets of paper behind. So this is Avalon Fay. She's got a really nice face mask made out of feathers. And in the background you can see the castles over the water's edge. This is September Dance. So the first one in the book, I'm not sure if there is any more, I can't remember. But this one has a male figure, a male fairy. And they're dancing. It's really, really sweet. And I like how it's been framed as well. It's, it's better than just having a blank background sometimes even if it's just have a small frame and not have a you know the entire page be a scene this is bleeding heart so the bleeding heart flowers as you can see are on here and it looks as if she's a little bit miserable so i don't know maybe she has had her heart broken a little fairy heart's been broken i don't know this again is kind of like the steampunk one that i did it's got all those elements the goggles the top hat and all of the machinery so this is margaret We've got Black Swan. This has quite a detailed moon on the background here, so you might want to um, look into some tutorials of how to create a realistic moon. I did a tutorial of how to colour a moon, but uh, it turned out a little bit wrong. <laughs> we all know what the moon looks like. It's in the sky every night and it never, ever changes, but somehow I managed to make it look completely different. Anyway, this is Leonora. So she's got a little pet rabbit and some gorgeous gorgeous hair you can see there's quite a lot of wavy hair here again lots of scope for coloring your hair um but yeah it's another quite close-up one there this is winter fay another mask it's very kind of masquerade -y, some of these are and she has her owl pet perched upon her arm we've got crush this is another one with the male figure um and again it's just it's really fun and kind of romantic some of these illustrations, you know, you've got the flirty one from earlier and this one. So there's a little, there's a nice little thread of romance throughout the book. This is Gerbera or is it Gerbera? I don't know. I'm sure that's the flower though, um, but I don't know how to say it. <laughs> and then we've got Autumn Wind, another one with these frames in the background. And I really like how these wings aren't sort of perfectly, beautifully shaped. They are beautiful, but they're very sort of ragged and i want to say realistic but obviously they're fairies um but just not not perfect i guess i kind of like the fact that they're all a little bit imperfect this is celtic summer so this is another close-up one and you can see there's a few acorns and oak leaves within her headdress we've got summer fae so all the wings on all of these fairies are all different. You can see this is a little bit more of a distinctive fairy wing shape. But I really like um, about this one specifically her hair. So you can see she's got this kind of crimped, wavy, beachy looking hair. But between it, woven through it, she also has a braid that goes all the way down. And there's little flowers dotting it as well. Really, really nice one that. And also her dress is made out of flower petals. So I can imagine this looking really nice in kind of exotic, bright colours. Not Your Cup of Tea is this one. So again, another steampunk influenced one here. Sat on the edge of the teacup. Um, yeah, what can you say? They're, they're all really fun, these illustrations. This is Estella. A beautiful, beautiful illustration. I can imagine someone, a, a, a better colourist than me, doing real justice to this one. Um, you can see the lilies in the hair. But I don't know, it's something about the face, it's something about the position, the expression, uh, the movement. It sort of looks like you can see the wind coming through the hair. I don't know. I really, really like this one. This is Poppy. So again, we've got the poppies and these wings are kind of just like an outline. There's no detail to this. So if you wanted to come in and detail these wings, um, you know, with a, with a black pen, however you wanted to do it, you could add some really funky patterns in there. We've got Loriana, so another one with a rabbit. And yeah, again, just lovely, lovely fairies. The Owl Lady. So here we are with the owly headdress. And I don't know what these are in the hair. I'm no good with plants and flowers, as you already know, but there are some berries on here. Um, 
And yeah, it does look quite autumnal, this one. So oranges, reds, rustic ochre colours, I think, for that. Silent Visitor. So mm, who is the Silent Visitor? Is that what they call Ivy, the Silent Visitor? I don't know. However, it's really kind of um, interesting, this one. It seems as though she's almost got a skull pattern on her corset. So I can imagine doing this, as usual with me, in some sort of gothic theme. We've got the beautiful stained glass and the, the gothic architecture. So I think this one would be a really cool one to make quite dark. This is Morning Glory. Again, I'm, I assume it's a flower. <laughs> uh, and I've got a little ladybird on there, which is really sweet. Um, then we've got Rosalyn, another one I really, really like. These close-ups are really, really nice. Um, so roses, Rosalyn, what more can you say? This is a fairy light, so um, a little bit more detail on this one. It'll take you a bit longer to colour, I think. Um, you can see that she's got a light which looks like it's made out of a walnut shell, but it can't be because walnut shells are completely uh, opaque. But anyway, uh, it also looks in the background like there's some kind of Stonehenge construction around there. So I don't know whether it's sort of meant to take place around some... Um, I don't even know what you call them some sort of druid site i don't know beloved so we have another guy here i don't know why i didn't remember all the all the males that are in the book there is quite a few uh, again a beautiful beautiful illustration with that romance coming through you've got the toadstools and i do recognize these leaves here actually but i don't know what they're for uh, but i just love i just love it i love the couples together you know these kind of intimate snapshots into the fairies world We've got Floriel, which looks like a younger fairy, so kind of like a teenager almost. And yeah, really playful and fun, happy illustration. Blood Moon. So again, another one I can imagine being really, really dark. You can play around with that Blood Moon in the background and see how the light of it bounces off and reflects all different uh, elements in the picture. This is called Changeling. And it's just a fairy sat sat on a tree trunk I think I don't know if there's anything I'm trying to figure out if there's anything different or distinct about this one no it's really nice though then we've got daydreaming another kind of youngish looking fairy then we've got mallow which I assume again is the flower and this fairy I don't know she just seems a little bit less detailed and the whole page is a little bit less detailed she's got nothing on her wings so again you can put something in there if you want the flowers are all really big and they've got lots of blank space for you to color or add detail so this one would be really good for anybody who struggles with intricacy and just wants you know large areas to color and blend this is called snake charmer so lots going on here you can see that she's got the snake around her neck which also has a dragon's head really really interesting sort of hybrid creature there and she is playing the flute or whatever it is to charm the snake uh yeah just cool really cool under the full moon we've got another couple here are they the same couple that run throughout the book just with different hairstyles and clothes totally up to you you could make this in essence, a little bit of a storybook. You could have these two as the same couple, the same colours and things running throughout the book. And the other fairies is kind of like their friends or family and just showing you a snapshot into this whole world, but revolving around this couple. That'd be a really nice idea. And finally, we've got the fairy of happy endings. She's sat upon a stack of books and yeah, we all love a good happy ending, don't we? So, um, there is the end that's the final one so i'm really hoping that you've enjoyed this book as much as i like it i think it's absolutely beautiful it's a fantastic edition you know some of these color in heaven magazines some of them appeal to a bigger audience than others some of them are quite niche uh this one i think will appeal to the majority and the masses so yeah, you can get your copy from your local UK supermarket and newsagent. If you are across the pond or anywhere else in the world, there will be links in the description where you can buy it online, have it delivered to your door. As usual, I will mention the subscription service, which is where Colouring Heaven will send you the brand new magazine out every single month, no matter where you live. And you don't have to do anything else. Just sign up and you'll get the magazine drop on your map. Uh, every month so yeah all the details of all of that will be in the description as usual again really hope you've enjoyed the book do let me know in the comments love to hear from you and i will see you soon on color with claire